Pastor Ruben, and today I wanted to come to you and give you some food for thought on what Good Friday means. So I came up with three points that I'd like to submit to you for your, your reflection and consideration. The first thing I wanted to discuss is what is Good Friday and why is it significant? Um, Good Friday is the Friday before Easter and it is the day that Jesus was crucified on the cross. It's significant to us as believers, much like communion is significant, where Jesus said that we should consider his sacrifice when we drink of the cup, his blood shed for us, and when we eat from the bread, his body that was broken for us. And so much like that, Good Friday is a time for us to consider what Jesus did when he died on the cross and what that means to us. So with that, point number two, is why should we observe Good Friday? Why should we consider this time and take this day and reflect on Jesus' death on the cross? Because it isn't a positive thing. It's a heavy thing. It's, it's death. And I think oftentimes we don't want to think about death. We don't want to consider death. But Jesus asks us to do this. And the word Christian literally means Christ follower. And Jesus in Matthew 16 calls us to take up our crosses and to follow him. And what does that mean? It doesn't mean that we should literally nail ourselves to crosses and be crucified. No, but if there are things in our lives that are conflicting with our relationship with our heavenly father, these are things that we need to die to ourselves in. If our pride is getting in the way of our relationship with God, we need to die to our pride, right? So these are things that we should consider when we're considering Good Friday is, what does this mean as I emulate Christ? How do I, how do I be Christ to my neighbors? How do I be Christ to my family? How do I grow and how do I die to myself? The third thing that I wanna to bring to you is why did Jesus come and die? And he did come and die, so then why is it called Good Friday, right? And Romans 3.23 says that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And Jesus came on Good Friday, and that is when he paid the debt of, and was the propitiation for our sins. An old pastor who was very grounded in the word growing up, he would always say, he paid a debt he did not owe because I owed a debt I could not pay. He would repeat that all the time and it stuck with me. And Jesus came to be the propitiation. He came to atone for the sins that we couldn't atone for because Jesus was fully man and fully God. And he lived a sinless life. And so he was able to take his sinless life and sacrifice it for our sin riddled lives. His sacrifice has atoned for my sin and it's atoned for your sin. And the really powerful thing in this, we find in Romans 5, 8, and it says that God demonstrates demonstrates his love for us in that while we are still sinners, he came and he died, right? Jesus died on the cross long before I was born. Jesus died on the cross long before you were born. And even before he knew that we would live lives that were devoted to him, he said, I will go and I will pay the ultimate price so that Reuben can have eternal life, so that you can have eternal life. Jesus was willing to do that. And to me, that's one of the most dramatic, the most compelling statements in scripture is that even while I was still a sinner, Christ came and he died for me. And it wasn't a simple death. It wasn't like he just was went to sleep one night and didn't wake up. He, he experienced a torturous death. The word excruciating 
literally is derived from being crucified. The word excruciating means to be crucified. It was a word that came up from that. And so when you say I'm in excruciating pain, you're saying, I feel like I'm being crucified right now, right? That is the death that Jesus experienced. That is the death that he went through. That is the torture. He was whipped. His body was broken. His blood shed, right? And he could barely breathe, right? A lot of times when people were hung on the cross, they didn't die from losing blood or they didn't die from the whipping. They died from a combination of exposure being out in the elements and asphyx asphyxiation they they couldn't breathe right because their lungs were supporting all the weight right and so they couldn't take a breath that is the torture that jesus experienced still not knowing that we would commit our lives to him jesus said i will go and i will pay that debt because reuben had a debt could not pay and that's why it's called good friday for us believers is that when we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that jesus is the christ our sins have been atoned for because of the terrible torture that jesus had to go